Hi there, I'm Adi Banjo, and welcome back to the Town of Light. So here's the deal. I kind of feel like crap right now. <laughs> Here, let me get, sorry, let me fix it, this. Okay, so I kind of feel like crap right now. Uh, but I am determined to get through this this dang first chapter just so I can, uh, uh, I don't know, pick this up some other time or something. Unless I, unless I just miraculously start feeling better by the, by the end of this. Uh, so, where we left, left off last time, we're on this upper floor here, and through, through no external help, I promise, I have this notion that we need to go get our doll, Charlotte, and then, uh, bring Charlotte up here. <laughs> So we're just gonna take a little elevator. We're gonna take a little elevator right here. We're gonna exit. Hey, Charlotte. Oh, so apparently when when I was using this last time, I wasn't actually riding the wheelchair. I was pushing the wheelchair. So let's push the wheelchair this way. Uh, uh, Charlotte. Oh man, this is awkward. Okay. Let's go for a little ride, Charlotte. It'll be fine. You'll like it. You'll like it so much. Okay. Perfect. Um, wait. Oh, I have to... Awkward. I had to dismount the wheelchair. Okay, y'all. Let's go for a little ride. Going up. The door is open. No, it isn't. Okay, that sounded latched to me. What is that noise? Ooh, I wonder what these buttons do. Oh, I can't push the buttons. Well, let's activate it. I can't play with the buttons. Let's play with the buttons once we get there, see what happens. Hold on. Alt? Oh, no. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, Charlotte. Let's get you to the warm place. It'll all be good once we get there. Um, let's go for a little ride. Oh. Such lovely artwork on these walls. Ah, we crashed again. Come on. This is not the way. Oh, it's so slow. Oh my gosh, here we go. Where are we? Clinic A. You know what? Let me dismount this for a second and figure out where the heck Clinic B. Good girl. All right. So we came from there. This is like, what room is that anyway? Radiology. And this one that we can't get to is <laughs> gynecology. It's not funny. It's serious. It's serious business. What's that? Oh, here we go. I think that is the warm place. So let's go retrieve Charlotte, who I wheeled who knows where. Who knows why. Come with me, Charlotte. I know how to get us out of here. Oh, so slow. Just a little bit further. And here we go. Look at those. The cold goes warm away, lights. you see? The light. Warmth. We can do it. The cold goes away. It's not forbidden. It's not forbidden. Now we can go to that ward where everything started. 
H to receive help. It all began in the observation room okay, on okay. the ground floor. Mm, sorry, I really feel like crap. My head is like... Oh, uh, it kills. Okay, let's go to the observation ward. I was like, I was feeling better there for a second, and then... Ah. Oh, I don't know, man. I gotta get to... I gotta get to sleep or something. Okay, we're here. Observation ward. I can do this. Observation. It's not forbidden. Alright. Okay, that's great. That's very nice. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> this reminds me of when I went home from work one day sick and like watched Coraline, the movie Coraline, with a high fever. Now that, <laughs> that, that was something else. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, uh. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't fucking me up. Not at all. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is no problem right here. No problem at all. Oh, this is this is so good. I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you how amazing this is. <laughs> oh, looks like we made it to the what, what, what kind of word would you got it? Oh, observation word, of course. Okay. Very nice, so far. Lovely beds, lovely lights. One day I turned Anamorphic off the lens light, flares. but it didn't go dark. It, didn't go dark. it was a limitless immensity, a blinding, merciless light. I was 16 and I was afraid, always afraid. A fear that wore me down. I needed help, but I could not speak. Everything terrified me, even thinking. Thinking can be kind of terrific sometimes. They said they were taking me to a place where the fear would go away, where I would get better. <laughs> I don't think I those guys are in here there. to help. They dragged me away and tore off all of my clothes. Not Every in a hot last way. last stitch. I tried to explain what was going on in my head. They tied me to the bed for days, alone with my nightmares. It wasn't fear anymore. It was madness. And when you're mad, you cease to exist. Okay. Man, don't lock me up in this place. Okay, do we Oh! I'm I'm controlling this. Okay. Hi. She was my only hope in this hell. I was falling down amongst the damned. But that woman and her smile kept me alive. Interesting. Oh, here we are.
Oh, this is chapter three already. I thought we were still in chapter one. Um. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know how I'm going to cut these episodes because, uh, um, yeah, I can't believe we already made a chapter three. So did we just go through chapter two? Well, hold on a second. Um, hmm. Should I continue on? Here's the thing. I don't know. I'm feeling super weird right now, and I'm not sure. Like, see, I'm, I keep going in and out of uh, feeling like like I'm just going to freaking pass out, and then, and then back to where I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm actually good. I'm fine. <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Right now I'm kind of feeling sort of fine, uh, sort of fine, but not the best. Maybe I should just end this episode here, and uh, we'll pick it up next time. So, uh, yeah, sorry for sorry for being weird and I don't know, I don't know sick, headachey, whatever, whatever I got going on. And uh, thanks for watching, and uh, also sorry for uh, being kind of incompetent at <laughs> at getting like progressing through this thing, but. Uh, Again, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.